Hello viewers, welcome to the Glamour Show. I am your host, Edna Kaindi, and that is my sign name. Now, we have got a very special visitor, very amazing, We've been waiting for long for her to come and join us, and uh, so we can learn some things from her. Now, I am here with my interpreter doing the voicing, Anwe Rimo. Hello, my guests. Welcome to the Glamour Show. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming here at Science TV. Maybe you can tell us about yourself, your name, who you are, what you do, how your history has been growing up. You can explain to us. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, so my name is Diana Chanzu. I am a style and image disruptor or um, what people commonly know as um, a style and image um, consultant. Yeah, so I prefer to call myself a disruptor because when you work with us, we do not allow you to look the same as you've always looked. Um, we want to bring out a different side of you that um, you're also not used to. So uh, yeah, that's, that's basically a bit about myself. I grew up in Nairobi, uh, schooled in Nairobi, work in Nairobi, family in Nairobi. Yeah. Wow, interesting, that is nice. I want to ask you, uh, when did you start fashion and when did you start your career? <laughs> because mm -hmm. We have uh, some people who have never heard about maybe your career, some healing, mm -hmm. some death. How did you start it? So I, I I started first. Okay, I have a passion for fashion, definitely. Um, actually, I knew that uh, growing up that I'd, I'd uh, be a designer, like a fashion designer. So I did that for a bit. I did uh, also a bit of interior design also, but um, journeying through, like after gaining so much experience and also interacting with different kinds of people, I found out that I had a passion more on um, like addressing how people dress, which is styling, like how to put, up, uh, put a designed outfit together with accessories, how to pair it with the proper hairstyle, the makeup, the shoes, so the whole entire look, not just the outfit, which is more of what a designer would do. So yeah, that's how I found myself in styling. So it's it's been it's been a transition, it's been a process, and yeah, that's how I found myself where I am. Wow, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when a customer comes to you, do they come asking for an idea? Do they bring a photo for you to copy? Or what do you do with your customers? So, um, I'll explain. I think this I'd explain better if I explain to you what the styling process looks like. So, of course, a, a, a client will reach out. Um, so, what we want to know is do they have a vision of what the look they're going for? So some will come with photos. Uh, some will have no clue about what, uh, what they really want. They want us to, you know, to come up with, with the look. So, yeah, so that now we advise. If what the client has come up with is something that we feel is agreeable with their goals or their body type, what they're going for so we'll work with that if not then we come up with what we call a mood board a mood board is now where we feed ideas different looks different photos um that we feel would um suit the client for what you know the kind of look that they want so now uh from there then um of course uh, in certain instances we get to meet the client before now we start the whole process so it's easier also to tell the personality because for an outfit to, to actually work, it has to go with the client's personality. The things that we look at, like their lifestyle, um, what they do on a daily. Um, so 
uh, and and of course what the outfit that we are creating is for because for some maybe it's um on the on the side of uh maybe being an image disruptor it's for a long time maybe they want to change their whole look their whole wardrobe so now we are looking at uh what their goal is um what their lifestyle is and and, and aspects such as those if it's one time maybe if it's for an event then we are looking at your, uh, the client's body type what is the theme for the event um what colors would suit you know the the, the client what is um, primarily like uh, w which kind of people are coming for the event yeah so it's aspects such as those then of course we get into um, the, the pricing of, of, of for the outfits so also that also depends on what the outfit is for and uh, yeah then there's ex the execution so if it's an outfit that we're going for that is uh, ready-made that's very easy if it's something that we want designed from scratch so we have designers that we work with um, of course there's taking the measurements deciding on the fabric um, there's the budget of course um, yeah aspects such as those then there's a, the execution now we do the fittings um, on the d-day of course the client dresses up these aspects like shoes the accessories which is jewelry if they are bags then we work with hairstylists we work with uh, makeup artists so now to bring the whole look into you know to be what what we envisioned as the uh, as the client and also as us as the stylist. Wow, that is insane. Yeah. Yeah. interesting. Now, how about the accessories and the designs? Mm -hmm. Because some people don't know what to match with what. How do you go about them? So, so if you don't know what to do, that's why you need us. Um, so, of course, accessories depends on like your skin tone. There are people who look better if, uh, uh, in terms of jewelry. There are people who look better in gold. There are some who look better in silver. We have African beads. So, of course, it depends on the outfit. We don't, um, we can't just um, assume that these are the accessories that we will need if we've not agreed on the outfit, on the color of the outfit. The, if it's like, for instance, if you're doing any neck accessories, it depends on the neckline of, of the outfit. Um, some really don't need a necklace. Some would need a necklace. Um, the kind of earrings. So earrings would be dependent on the hairstyle of the client, on the shape of the face of the client, again, on the outfit um, that you're going for. Um, so, I mean, for, for, for certain occasions, maybe we can go with very extra accessories. Um, for cert, uh, certain other occasions, let's say if it's office, of course, we don't expect um, anything that is too much, you get. Uh, so it's aspects such as those that would um, inform our decision on what kind of accessories we'd be working with. If it's things like bags, of course, we're looking at color, we're looking at the shape of the bag, we're looking at uh, the functionality of the bag. Is it just for dinner? Then we go for something tiny. Is it for maybe for a client who carries laptops, she carries uh, books and stuff like that, then definitely we're looking at a bigger bag. Is it a mom who is running around with her kids? Um, so she's packing diapers, she's packing clothes for uh, to change. Then, of course, there's a bag for that. Yeah, so it, it depends on everything. So we are very detailed looking at every aspect of the outfit um, that it should be functional for the occasion. Yeah. Hey, that is, <laughs> wow, now I can see. The customers, I know now you can see we have a skilled, a skilled person with us. Yeah. Now, how about a... Uh, if maybe I want a uh, address, uh, how much maybe can I pay? So, address? so what 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 you'd be charging me as a stylist is co you're consulting me. I I don't sell the clothes. I don't sell accessories. So I have people who I partner with, who would determine the price of the dress 
uh, the price of uh, yeah the price of the outfit depending on if it's a designer who is working on it from scratch or are we walking into a shop and finding something that is ready made is it something we need to import uh, so that, that that would inform the um, the price so it would depend on who we are working with Ah, I think now I understand you yeah. clearly. Now, when I pay, yeah. do I go with it and it becomes mine or I have to bring it back? So it depends also, again. Um, there, there are clients who want to keep the outfit. There are clients who maybe they, they you, you see like for instance, if it's a celebrity or like her, I mean, like you uh, being in studio every day, you might not want to keep so many outfits so you just want what you wear in studio and then um the following day